This is the moment reality TV fans have been waiting for. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane at long last, sitting face to face with former clients of her estranged husband, Tom Girardi. I am at sort of a loss for what to say because we um, have had such a, been standing on the opposite sides of a lot of things. Yeah. So I don't know if there's anything that you'd like to say or ask or. Well, I, I don't know who, if who you know of, of the victims, if you know our names. Um, do, do, do you know anything about us? Not really, to be perfectly honest. Did you see the documentary? Yeah. The Housewife and the Hustler? I did. I watched. It was a couple of years ago. So explain to me or remind me what happened to you. This just the latest glimpse into the scandal that rocked the Real Housewives world and took down her legal titan husband. The now disbarred attorney was recently found competent to stand trial on criminal charges that he stole millions of dollars from his clients. How you feeling today, Tom? Are you ashamed of yourself? Our investigation has revealed that, in fact, Mr. Girardi was robbing and stealing from those people who he claimed to be championing. What do you have to say to your former clients who accused him of stealing their money? Girardi has pled not guilty, and his attorneys tried arguing that the 84-year-old is suffering from dementia and unfit to stand trial. Girardi attended those competency hearings, allowing former clients to catch a rare public glimpse of the man who once held their trust. It's been so many years of turmoil. We need to see justice done once and for all. Mr. Girardi. In her decision, the judge declared Girardi competent to face charges and said in part, the timing of defendants' reported symptoms is highly suspect, giving hundreds more of his former clients the possibility of a trial. I'm going to play a little word association. Tom Girardi. The devil. Where is the money? That search for justice is at the center of the new Hulu documentary, The Housewife and the Hustler 2, The Reckoning. A deep dive investigation into the aftermath of the scandal. For him to be involved in something like that in such a massive scheme, and then for it to involve a real housewife, we couldn't believe it. My reaction was, oh crap. The fans went crazy. It blew up on social media. If you have not read this article, run to the LA Times now and read it. You wonder how deep does this go? Girardi owned the downtown Los Angeles-based Girardi Keese Law Firm and famously won the real-life Aaron Brockovich case, which would go on to inspire an Academy Award-winning film starring Julia Roberts. PG&E has requested that we submit to binding arbitration. What's that? He and Erica Jane were married for more than 20 years before she filed for divorce. Hi. Welcome to my home. Come on in. In her first six this seasons the on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, her lavish lifestyle with Girardi was often on full display. I'm an enigma wrapped in a riddle and cash. She often flaunted her wealth in her music, too, with songs like Expensive. King, it's expensive to be made. But federal prosecutors now say that lavish lifestyle was funded by lies, accusing Girardi of swindling $18 million from his clients. Last year, Girardi was arraigned on two federal wire fraud indictments in Los Angeles and also in Chicago, where he allegedly misappropriated more than $3 million in settlement funds intended for relatives of victims in the Lion Air 610 crash. A Boeing Air Max that went down in Indonesia in 2018, killing everyone on board. This man is corrupt and this man is doing everything that is possibly you should not do. That case brought up in an episode on The Real Housewives. Orphans and widows, it makes you feel sick. Did you know any of this? No one knows the answer. 
but him. The outrage over the scandal often spilling into reality TV as Erica Jane's castmates questioned what she did or did not know. All I think about are victims. I don't give a about anybody else but me. Nightline spoke with Erica's castmate, Garcelle Bouvet, about the impact the first documentary had by giving voice to Girardi's former clients. Did you see it? I did see it. What did you think? Uh, it's hard to watch. It's unbelievable if uh, everything is true. It's actual people saying they've been wronged. The new Hulu doc focuses on the fallout of the scandal on both Jane and Girardi, including allegations of how the once legendary attorney was able to get away with what victims say were his crimes for upwards of four decades. There had been allegations over the years that he wasn't paying people, how that tracked with his wife's rise to fame and all the money being spent on her. The film traces lawsuits, bar complaints, and client testimony to expose the systematic failures that extended far beyond just one firm just one man. Okay, there I am. Yeah. He was powerful because of the relationships that he strategically cultivated, relationships to make him look completely untouchable. I would like to see uh, justice outside of Tom Girardi. In recent years, Erica Jane has faced her fair share of legal trouble related to the scandal. The Real Housewife sued in several civil lawsuits, including one for $50 million. The Housewife and the Hustler 2 goes in-depth into one of those cases involving Chris Pasila, the co-owner of fashion house Marco Marco. Erica mentioned that she wore a wire in an earlier season of the show. I wore a wire and was a witness in a government case. Wow! Oh. Why did she wear a wire? Did this have anything to do with Tom? We found out that it involved Marco Marco. Erica came in saying that I had stolen upwards of $800,000 from them. I said that that was impossible. In my mind, it was like, well, this is obviously a joke. I was very aware of how powerful she and her husband were, and that alone is pretty terrifying. Jane's legal team talked exclusively in the documentary, saying Erica had the right to go to authorities and give viewers a chance to hear why they say the reality star believed she was defrauded by Pasila. If you have a basis for it, what they call probable cause, you're immune. The interviews in the film and meeting with victims providing a different view and approach compared to what viewers have seen from Jane on TV so far. We're not even sure that there were people that weren't paid. No way. Yeah, way. Right. You mean that there's a chance there's that a they chance. can be lying? You can allege anything in a lawsuit. That's especially true for the victims who finally had a chance to confront the star about those things she had said. I just thought, what am I going to say to her? And then I said, I'm not going to say anything. I'll listen. I think she owes us more than we owe her. I mean, I know it feels weird with all the mics and lights, but I mean, we've all had a lot of questions for a long time. And nobody was really interested in my side of the story. They were interested in blaming me. She's been given a lot in life as far as a platform. She can make the victim's life a living hell still, or she could add a little light. Which one is it gonna be? It's also catching the attention of Jane's fellow housewives who have questioned her about the scandal, including castmate Crystal Minkoff, appearing on E! News. Are you gonna watch? Because she's gonna be with the victims. Oh, I'm watching it. Oh. You're watching it. I watched the first and I'm gonna watch this one. And you can see more of The Housewife and The Hustler 2, now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.